is what we do best as humans. So the maker culture, I think, is perhaps the most important thing. I'd like to think that there's uh, good karma in every one of the chairs that I make. I know every chair that I make, I have a good attitude when I'm making it, and I sure hope that some of that gets soaked into the grain a little bit. We do our very best right from the rough mill to match every board so that it's gonna have that same grain, same texture, same fullness of color. Depending on the color of the wood that we're using and the type of wood and the different grains, they really bring out those curves and those lines. It's so appealing, makes you need to have it, you know? What I like to think of is you can't imagine this chair looking any other way. Every chair is going to have its own little spirit. Every chair could be coming from a dozen different trees or more. Tom has talked about how long it takes for a cherry tree to grow and, and the, the thought behind hoping that that piece of furniture that's made from that tree will last longer than, than that. It's signed on the bottom knowing that there's some legacy of me left behind when I'm you know, not here anymore. It gives me comfort and, and joy. You want to flip some boards around. You got to flip boards. You've got to be willing to go grab another board and it's picking the right wood. It's that's that simple in the end. <laughs> What makes a Moser piece a Moser piece for starters is the design and to pay attention to detail. I think that's, that's exceptional. If you look at it and you say, I just wouldn't change anything about it. Being happy at what you do is paramount. This job is everything and working with wood is so satisfying. I can't put it into words.